a lot of interesting stuff to get through today. And this, and these, and these, and this. So here we have a Halloween mat. Oh, oh, that's long. Okay, it just never ends. Okay, so this is basically an entire desk mat for stack mat timers, so you can uh, see these things here. You can just put it on like that. Pretty much the same as competition size. So it looks to me like this is about 70 centimeters. And if you're impaired in units of measurement, that is just under two and a half feet. The mat you see in my videos is about 30 centimeters, just over one foot. All right, here is a better view of the mat. So this square one is the Volt 2M square one. The best square one solvers typically use the Volt or the Little Magic, but before the Little Magic came out, the Volt was everyone's main and the Volt 2 uh, is supposedly an upgrade over that. So, so far it seems like it turns pretty good and over the next few days, I'm gonna be doing some solves. Just kidding, I'm not solving this thing. Speedkeep Shop will not stop sending me square ones, but I guess I'm just here to let you guys know that this exists. Seven new mats from Speedkeep Shop, way more exciting than the square one. This one looks okay. I really like the colors on this one. I think this type of orange with this like royal blue always looks really nice together. Also, this pattern is pretty nice. Let's look at the next one. All right, not sure what this type of design is called. I do kind of like it, but not my favorite. Wow, this one's really bright. Actually, I think this is the only one that has a red outline on it. I really like this one on its own, but I'm not sure if it will match other things so well. It does have a nice contrast with the stack mat timer though. All right, this one's just straight up spooky. I'm not sure if you can see from the camera, but there are spider webs here on the side. So when you're cubing, don't get spooked by that. Oh, this one's actually the same design as the big one. I actually really like this design because it's really simple, black contrasting with orange. This moon is unrealistically big. I think this is one of my favorite designs. Okay, wow, actually I like this one better. I think the colors go really well together. I love how um, all of the elements of space and the astronaut, the, the rocket ship, they all really stand out. And they're drawn so simply that it's really cute. Okay, these all have a name. I don't know their names. Just check on Speedcube Shop. Use the discount code JPERM. Okay, I'm not sure of their names, but one of these I think is the Polaris cube and one is the Maple Leaf cube. I'm gonna guess Polaris because it looks like a star and Maple Leaf. All right, interesting. I, I can't say it looks that good. Maybe I'm just really used to seeing end by ends. All right, so I guess this just turns like a cube. Okay, it looks like you can turn the insides here. Although I'm not gonna be doing that because I can't even solve a skew. I wonder if there's any more ways you can turn it. I guess this kind of affects every different special type of piece. So yeah, nothing here turns, it's just, it's just this. So it's a skew plus this, which I guess adds complexity. And that is about as far as I'm going to scramble it. Let's check out this one. All right, I can turn the corners and uh, I can turn the other corners. Okay, there's gotta be something I'm missing. Every time I try to do anything, a corner just turns. Okay, when you turn all of the corners halfway through so it's pointing right at that inside of the star, you can turn this in half. Wow. So I guess it's kind of like a skew because it turns in half, but I am not gonna be able to solve that. I am not ready for this. I am generally a speed solver and not a puzzle enthusiast, so I feel like I could figure these out if my life depended on it, but that's not what I feel like doing right now. Amazing, speed solver. So this is Controlius, Control Your Cube from Speedcube Shop, which is a new lube, and I pretty much only use weight five, which is what I show in my tutorial. So on my Waylong WR, I don't like the magnet strength, it's too weak, so um, I don't feel like I'm gonna make it strong enough, so I'm gonna try Controlius on it later to help slow it down. Next we have a timer cube, so is this even a three by three? Okay, should be. That's a three by three, and something's in here. Very interesting. Okay, hope this explains it. Okay, it's just, Telling me how to solve a cube. So I've taken out the corner piece that is gonna be replaced with this piece. I have batteries, I believe I should unscrew this. Okay, interesting, looks like all the hardware is in here. Okay, batteries are in. I don't think I'm gonna be able to remove these and it looks like I've put them in the right way. So I put the flat side on the top here when the timer's on the bottom. Okay, so there's a countdown before it begins. Then when I release, it just starts. So I have to make sure one of my fingers is touching here, which is kind of weird, I guess. Um, and then stop. So there's no reset, it just goes again. Okay, and the cube I believe is just a Moyu Meilong, um, which is not that good out of the box, but I mean, it's okay. I might try replacing this corner piece into my magnetic Meilong. This cube, I don't like this cube. And then stop, I forgot about that, okay. So it was something under 14. So the Meilong is like not bad when you set it up and tension it. Right now it is just too tight. 
but I don't think it's very good unless you add magnets in it. So I guess this is interesting because you don't need to bring a phone or a timer with you if you just want to go practice. Plus, if I'm not keeping at home, I'm usually doing slower solves and trying to improve on things rather than do fast solves. So I'm not sure I'm going to have a use for this. Also, I don't know if the display ever turns off, so this battery is just going to die after a while. Oh, never mind. It just turned off. All right, let's switch out the mats here. Spooky cube. Okay, it's not spooky yet, but we're going to put the stickers on. Okay, Speed Cube Shop has way too many different business cards, although I really like this one. Here we have a skull-like thing, and I believe the rest of the colors are just Halloween-themed colors. Okay, we got black, but no orange. That's interesting. Oh, wait, that's orange. So on top of these stickers, there's already application tape. All right, so as I peel this off, I'm just going to make sure that all of the stickers come up with it. Okay, this one didn't come up with it, so I'm just going to uh, press it down harder so it sticks, and there we go. All right, got them all. Okay, so I kind of put it in the middle to make sure it was on the right spot and then only stuck on the diagonal side first. Now I'm just gonna like push on each of these as I put them on and just work my way up through the bottom sides here to make sure they're all on good without air bubbles and then move my way up diagonally like this. I have not put on my own stickers in a while because I usually use stickerless cubes, but I hope this worked out right. Peel the application tape off and make sure none of the stickers come up with it. There we go. It would be a crime not to have white opposite of yellow, so that's going on next. Okay, it is done, and I have a few air bubbles, but I don't care. So I think if you have this, it's important to think about how you want to display it. Um, so I have like black, green, or I can display it like this and it's got these colors, it looks kind of nice. I don't really like the gray, so I probably display it from one of these angles. If you don't like the color scheme you chose, you can always just take the, uh, each piece, like a corner piece out and actually take the individual corner um, pieces apart. That way you can switch pieces around as if you've switched the stickers around. All right, now we have jack-o'-lantern lube. Smells like pumpkin spice, which I don't know, some people might like it, but I, I do kind of like it, but I don't like being hungry while I cube. Yeah, I don't know how much to put, but I'm just, I'll just put in a bit. Okay, it still has the spring noise. I'm not gonna actually try and fix that because I it's gonna take too long, but actually like the difference in speed, holy. This side's still a little hard to turn because it's just out of the box and this side just got really fast. I'll just put like one drop on, um, on a few of the sides. Okay, wow, so this cube actually just went from completely unusable to pretty decent. <laughs> Obviously, it's not like a great speed cube or anything, but it is pretty decent, and I could speed solve on it in the same way I could speed solve the love cube, which I did in 10 seconds. All right, I don't remember the last time I solved a picture cube, but um, there's only one picture center here. All the other centers are, it uh, doesn't matter which way it goes. So I'm just gonna get this one correct, and then... So basically, I'm gonna do really beginner cross, where um, first get the center right, and then match these and then I'm going to work on each of the other cross pieces separately, and I don't even know which eye this is. Probably this side, yeah. And then, so after this, I'm gonna do F2L normally, but then uh, color scheme being a little weird, and I'm gonna stop looking through my camera here. This is purple, and this is gray, so that's this one. Uh, black and green, that's that one. And purple, green, that's here. And this one is goes with that one. Okay. Ooh, do I know the ZBLL? I think I know a bad one. There we go. And uh, that center should not change as long as you use it as your first side. If you make this your last side, then you could run into problems. All right, I was a little surprised by the jack-o'-lantern and it also smells like pumpkin spice now, but also this became a usable speed cube and I really wasn't expecting that, especially with the spring noise. Now, if you do, Oops, I accidentally turned his face upside down. Now, if you want to reduce the spring noise, then you just have to pop out the center caps and put lube inside the screws. I'm not sure if on top of the screws will actually let it go in, but uh, if you'd like to just undo the screws, the tensions are not very good anyway, uh, put the lube in there and then, or you can just go on Speed Cube Shop and ask for the pro setup service. So here's my main, the PVC coated WRM. Again, if you don't know what the PVC coating does, I have a video on that here. So this gets really fast, especially um, it makes me have problems with moves that use U and D at the same time or just in the same algorithm because those 
typically require a lot more corner cutting than other algorithms. So I've been messing up on these and every time that happens, basically what I do is I just take more weight five and then I just put weight five in here and it makes it slower for a little bit. That's not the purpose of weight five, but when you do put in too much at first, it does make it slow. Weight eight can do this a little bit better, but not really necessary. So when the loop actually breaks in and does its real function, then the cube speeds up again. And then that's not what I want. So I just put in more lube and it slows it down at first. And so that's really annoying. I'm gonna try Controlius and see how that goes. So I'm just gonna start with a bit, make sure I don't put in too much. I don't even know where to apply it. I'll just put it in. Oh, all right, kids, remember not to talk to the camera while you try to apply a very specific amount of lube. See, I was expecting it to be as not runny as weight five, but uh, it is quite runny. So that means I have to apply it very carefully. Okay, big mistake. I put in way too much and it's because at first it didn't really do anything. So I just kept putting in more and it still wasn't doing anything. But as I worked it in, it really started to slow down. So this cube is very, very slow right now. Well, at least good to know it works. If a cube is way too fast, I can use this, but just don't use this much of it. All right, so I guess that's some good advice if you are using Controlius. Just put in a little bit at first because it might slow down your cube too much. And at that point, cleaning it out is harder than putting in more. So to start with a bit and work it in for like 30 seconds to a minute before you decide if you want to put in more. Don't be like me. All right, I'll have to use this for a while and let you guys know. Um, if I do end up liking this more with Controlius, I'll just start adding it to the description where I say that this is the PVC coated cube with Controlius. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Remember to go to speedcubeshop.com and use the discount code JPERM when you check out. Otherwise, you don't get that sweet, sweet discount.